With Season 1's release here in Modern Warfare 2, we've gotten some new camos added into the game, but we've also seen some older camos get nerfed. Let me show you guys. So I'll start with the good news first. Good news is we have four new weapons in the game, one being the Victus XMR Sniper, another one being the BSP SMG, bars and we also got the m13 bar and the reason why this is good news is because with every new weapon release we get four brand new camos added into the game and the camos that we receive for the xmr are snowy knights burned edges that's one <laughs> and the coral reef i'm really excited about this one we're gonna be unlocking this as well as a few other camos for the other weapons let me go ahead and run through those really quick and here we have our bass p smg and for the camos for this we have grass snake which is pretty basic we've seen this type of camo before same thing with bark digital nothing too crazy we have urban dusk also not my thing and we have dark violet which has been described to me in my stream chat as diet dark aether and for our m13 b here we have the tarnish camo which is absolutely awful it just looks like you threw and dirt uh we got field ops it's not the greatest either uh we have projectile which i kind of like i hope that when we actually get this in game uh it has some sort of shimmer effect to it it kind of looks like it, it is a little metallic it has like all these little bullet patterns on it and then for the final camo here we have ice cave which is kind of like a zebra camo or a zebra pattern with a little bit of blue sprinkled throughout in here but also i just want to point out that this gun has the two worst back-to-back -back challenges on here like it has the pretty basic challenge like get kills get double kills which is whatever and it has 15 point blank kills which i hate and then it has 15 kills from behind those are like two of my least favorite challenges challenges in a row there absolutely awful lineup but we're gonna be getting these two camos for our m13b today as well as our dark violet camo here getting 15 kills while using a suppressor which should not be too bad and we'll be trying to get the coral reef camo here for our victus xmr this is getting 30 kills while crouched which also shouldn't be too bad but what is bad and the bad news i have for today is that those solid color camos that i've been spending the last week trying to get them all have been nerfed completely so if we just take a quick peek at them you can see that the the vibrance and the saturation of the color has been brought down significantly this looks nothing like the azul camo that we had like three days ago one day ago 24 hours ago the colors just look all muted now i guess scarlet kind of looks the same maybe not as dark but it's still like pretty vibrant compared to a lot of the other camos pink ish kind of looks the same i think they changed the color it's or the name of it it's called pink ish now i think it was called like pink blast or something uh, i'm pretty sure they changed the name of this hunting orange is kind of the same but the worst one is neon loud this is not neon nor loud but i'm gonna be using these solid color camos today while we're using these guns so you guys can see the real damage that they've done to them but anyways that's enough of me rambling i'm gonna go ahead and hop in here to shoot house and try to get these camos done i am so glad they brought shoot house back this was like my favorite map in modern for 2019 this is the map that kind of saved modern for 2019 for me i was kind of like on the verge of quitting the game before shoot house dropped i think this is the one of the best original maps they've come up with in a while but as you can see uh, i guess in game it looks a little more neon when you have the light on it but it's definitely not what it used to be here with these solid color camos it's really frustrating because i was giving them a lot of praise for making some camos that were like pretty nice outside of the mastery camos and then they're just like you know what yeah we we need people playing longer we need people playing more oh uh, let's go ahead and make the non-mastery camos a little worse and then they did buff orion actually i forgot to talk about that they made the orion camo the the movement on it go a little bit faster so you can actually see that it's animated and you know that's a nice touch and obviously i'm just you know spewing out conspiracies they i don't know if they did this on purpose or what the reason is for taking the color out of these camos but i'm just a little upset that it's gone but this xmr has not been bad as a sniper to be honest i am pretty bad as a sniper as you can see me whipping these shots but this is like a little bit slower version of like the spx 80 uh i i don't know if that's like a correct name for the sniper the last one on the list before this or before this new sniper was added but it's not the worst thing in the world and now we need to knock out all these crouching kills with it but with this rest of this update i played a little bit of dmz that's how i unlocked the m13 dmz was pretty fun actually uh i i recorded a bunch of it i don't know how much of that footage is usable because it just like me and my friends hopping in there and trying to get the blueprint and just completely fumbling every time until we just all of a sudden decided like you know what let's just rush in there and try to get it and it actually worked like uh we we kept going into like the radiation zone i think our first time going against the chemist uh we got our ass beat pretty bad and then after that we're like okay uh that was tough we need to prepare for this better so we're going into like strongholds trying to get more money so we can buy more resources and then xfil come back with some of the better stuff and you know take it out that way but we'd always get like a bunch of stuff and do pretty well 
And then right before we exfil, we'd see another team. We're like, you know what? Let's just go take these guys out real quick and then we'll take off. And then every time that team took us out. So that took us way longer than it should have, but we did end up getting it done. I ended up getting out with a blueprint, but I was really excited to play some Warzone. Ooh, look at that kill, fully flashed. I'm insane. But I was really excited to play Warzone. I was hyped about the prox chat and everything. I was excited to hop in there with like my friends and you know, just have a good time. But we tried to play for over an hour. And every time we would get into a lobby, it would be at like 140 players out of 154 or whatever. And then the game would never start. And you would just see players leaving the lobby constantly. And it would go from like 140 players all the way down to like 60. And then so we'd leave the game, try to do it again. And I I, I never got into a game. I still have yet to play Warzone 2, which I'm honestly a little upset about. I was pretty hyped about it. And I'm sad that it wasn't working for me. But I'll probably give it another go here in the, in the next few days. Uh, at least this gives me time to work on these guns and then try these out in Warzone. But it kind of sucks that I couldn't play it today. Uh, tier 1 was also added into the game, their version of Hardcore. Uh, I've seen a lot of the community refer to it as like Hardcore and like Realism Mixed. And I kind of agree with that. There's no like hit markers or anything. Uh, there's no like kill feed. So if you get a kill, you kind of just know based on like the sound of it. But you you can't see how your teammates are doing in the, in the kill feed, like nothing. It's all just blank, which I'm not too sure if I like or not. Like I was a huge Hardcore player. Uh, I mainly played hardcore in like every COD that I play. But in that, I don't even think you can see like when you get a camo done. Like, I don't think anything will even pop up. But the time to kill on it was great. I, I love a hardcore time to kill. I love just being like the first one to get the shot in, gets the kill. Like it's all more based on like reaction time versus like ammo management and like recoil control, which, you know, that, that's a whole debate in itself on which one's better. Uh, I personally just prefer hardcore, but I've been liking core a lot in this game. So I feel like I can switch between the two. And we're playing core right now because there is no uh, core or hardcore playlist or shoot house, which is unfortunate. It feels like the hardcore or tier one players now uh, kind of always get shafted with uh, the playlist. It seems like they're always forgotten, but it's whatever. I would be playing uh, core anyways with the sniper. I, I feel like playing hardcore with a sniper is like redundant because like you already get one shot kills with a sniper in core for the most part, and you just get the, the extra benefit of more health. So I don't really see a reason to use like knives or like the riot shield or snipers in hardcore, unless, you know, you just want to use it to use it i'm in such a weird spot with like my camo progress right now like when i'm streaming and i have people come by I'd be like how many golds and how many platinums do you have well i have all my snipers gold now i haven't done the platinum challenge for them yet because they're all long shots and i'll just go knock them out whenever but i got my all my ars gold and platinum and i have my launchers all gold and platinum if you guys know if you've been watching like this series of me just grabbing random camos that that's exactly what i've been doing just like re leveling up random weapons, getting like most of the camos for them, but just not doing the gold challenge. So I feel like I have a decent bit of weapons that are so close to being done. Like while scrolling through all my camos, I was like, damn, I actually have like 110 out of like 180 camos, but I only have like so many golds and barely any plats. So I feel like it's just going to be an avalanche of me getting some mastery camos here. I, I feel like I can knock out a bunch of them pretty quick. Ooh, what a way to end the game too. 27 kills, and I think most of those were crouching, so we're almost done with this camo. Oh yeah, we only have eight more. Ooh, there we go. That should be our camo right there. No, really? Okay, maybe one more. That's it right there. It's gotta be. Come on. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, what? Get the fuck out of here with that last stand bullshit, and fuck you, Bob, for taking my kill. Okay, now that's for sure gotta be it, right? There it is, weapon challenge completed. We still don't have the camo pop-up, which is a big downside of this update. But they changed it from a trophy to like a medal now. I would just prefer to see the, the camo icon pop up, but that means we can go ahead and switch to our SMG. This is what our BASP looks like in game. This is with the Azul camo, it's so dull now. That was like one of my favorite camos in the game, and now it's like, it's more cyan than a, a soul. But to be honest, I don't really remember using this uh, gun too much. I don't really remember how it's like. It just seems kind of like a standard SMG to me. But I guess we'll see right here. Oh, there's our, our guy that gets downed. Idiot, oh, come here. You're getting teabagged. That looks freaky as hell. Still gonna get teabagged though. Okay, all right, I guess it's kind of decent. Fuck you. Oh, what's going on, pal? Oh, damn, that is aggressive. Okay, we got out of that game with 
not a whole lot of kills, but we did get a camo. So I, I, progress is progress. Also, don't be mad, but I kind of forgot to show the builds on this. This is my Victus XMR build. Uh, here's the tune on my barrel, on my stock, and on my grip. Uh, don't fry my builds. I don't know what I'm doing when I'm building the weapon, but it, it feels like it's fast and it works for me. This is my build on the BASP. Uh, this is the tune on my muzzle and the tune on my rear grip. And this is my M13 build. And I don't think I can tune any of this for some reason. I have it max level, but it won't let me tune anything. So it's whatever. Ooh, we're feeding. Oh, damn. Ran out of ammo. Well, that's a good way to start this game. We still need to get like basically all of our suppressor kills. We had six at the end of the last game. So time to quickly rack up 34 of these. What's up, pal? Hey. Thanks. Damn. Actually, this SMG is kind of nice. It's kind of dirty. Oh, no. That's the second time we could have had four, but ran out of ammo. Maybe we need like a higher damage barrel. That way we can get a little more bang for our buck on our ammo. Okay, 25 kills that time. A lot better than last time. This whole time, I could have had Coral Reef on my... What is this gun? I keep forgetting the name of it. So I'm throwing that on for the rest of these kills that we got, which is nine. Oh, wait, no, 19. And I'm changing out the rear grip for a higher damage barrel. We're going to try that out. This is what a Coral Reef camo looks like in-game. That's not bad. A little uh, scratched up, but pretty decent looking. I think I've made this gun significantly worse. I shouldn't have changed anything. Oh yeah, it's like a hit marker machine now. I need to fix this. I wonder if the suppressed barrel counts for suppressed kills. And then we can put an under barrel grip on this. I don't know why I'm doing all this with only like a few kills left on this challenge, but we're gonna try it. Ooh, that was kind of nasty. I'm two kills away from 19. So after these next two kills, we're gonna find out if we've been getting progress at all with this barrel. So that's one and that's two. Camo, please. Oh, it did count. Let's go. That's perfect. I was kind of scared that I wouldn't. And now we can move on to our M13. Now we need to get point blanks and kills from behind. Ooh, that's a point blank. Just uh, like 14 more of those. Oh, shit. Okay, so my friend pointed this out earlier. Shout out, Gage. Uh, this little spot here on the wall, right there on the left side of that entryway. It, the barrier on it is like extended. There's like an invisible wall there that blocks bullets. And that's what saved me from that Semtex just now. So I go right here. Look at that. My bullets are being blocked unless I move further to the right. So just be aware of that if you're playing on this map. A little PSA for you guys. And again, shout out Gage for figuring that one out. Are you playing the game? No? Okay. There's a point blank for you. Probably could have got a kill from behind on them, but they had a riot shield and I didn't want to risk taking the extra time getting behind them. Ooh, there's a throwing knife. We haven't been getting those today yet. Ooh, that's another one, baby. Ooh, eat that one, too. Oh, you can get point blanks with throwing knives. Somebody was asking me about that the other day on stream, and I was like, I don't know if the, the thing pops up for it, but it does. All right, that's the game. We had 38 kills. Uh, Most of those were with our SMG, but I'm curious to see how many uh, kills from behind we got. I know we got at least like five or six point blanks. Oh, we got four kills from behind that game and five point blanks. It's going to take a minute. But we can throw on our, our fake Dark Aether. That's what it looks like in-game. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty Dark Aether-ish. This is like Dark Aether from memory. I'm very seriously considering camping right here. I feel like this is going to be the best way to get point blanks and kills from behind. I just need somebody to come around the corner towards me. That's a kill from behind. Let's go. That's one from behind. A little back shot. That should be a back shot too. And that. Ooh, three back shots in a row. It's probably didn't come. Oh, eat that. A point blank and a kill from behind? Two of them? That's what we call double trouble, baby. Ooh, and a throwing knife. Oh, and a stab. What a play. Oh, I think that's all of our point blanks. That should be a kill from behind. We gotta be getting close on those too. We've actually been doing a pretty good job on this. Oh, I need one more. Not the camo curse. I swear. This is gonna bother me. But I can put on the projectile camo. Which won't bother me. All right, this is what the projectile camo looks like in game. That's not too bad. It's not holographic like I thought it would be, but it almost looks like it could. We're having a stare down of the of the twins. Both the same dude with the same guns. I just need to shoot one person in their back. Just one. Is that it? Does that count? Or is that a side shot? That's a side shot. Oh, is that it? 
I don't think he was facing me. Let's go. We got it. And I'm going to be really pissed if this doesn't work, but I'm pretty sure I can back out of the game now that I have uh, my camo and the camo progress will stay. So let's cross our fingers and hopefully it stays. Come on. Please say it worked. That's not the right class. Where is it? Oh, let's go. We got it. Perfect. And we can do the gold challenge on it if we wanted. But let's go ahead, hop in game and see what the camos look like there. All right. This is what our Victus XMR looks like in game with our Coral Reef camo. It's pretty nice. Like I like I mentioned earlier, it is a little more scratched for my liking, but this is a big enough weapon where you don't really notice the scratches too much. Still some nice colors on this bad boy. We take it. And this is our BASP with our Dark Aether Diet on here. Not bad. I do really like the colors on it and it is very reminiscent of Dark Aether, but it, it can't really touch it. Uh, camo wise but uh you know it's it's similar i guess this is our m13 with a projectile camo it's all right uh, i was definitely hoping this would be more like reflective maybe metallic holographic even but the colors on it are pretty decent not too bad of a camo and one more time let's look at the azul camo and how they massacred my boy this looks so bad these are almost like the same color now like if we look at this let me bring this out. They, they really nerfed the hell out of these. And here is our zebra camo on the M13. I don't actually remember what it's called. Maybe ice zebra, ice station zebra and associates. This one isn't too bad. Uh, not my favorite camo, but it's not awful. There's definitely worse camos than this. And let's give another look at our neon green. This is more like Mucinex green now. I can't, why would they do that? I, I was praising them. We're all praising them. We're like, damn, they put some nice camos into the game. Then they took them all out. But there's all the new camos and I gave my thoughts on the new season. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, Go ahead, like it, dislike it, subscribe, you know, all that YouTube stuff. Follow my socials down linked in below if you want to or, or don't. But uh, that's gonna be it for me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.